Your is perp back with a, another video and not too long ago I just got done watching the new movie uh Straight Out of Nowhere Scooby Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. That is such a mouthful of a title. They they could have shortened it up. But this was an interesting collab when I first saw the trailer. I was like, "Wow, that is interesting." But now that I've actually kind of watched it and I'm like this should have happened 15 years ago because they haven't really done nothing with Courage the Cowardly Dog since it last aired. Like, what was it back in 2002? So it's been almost 20 years. And that's a another issue about uh, Cartoon Network and other platforms like Nickelodeon. I have a little conspiracy theory that I might save for another video for another time, but... Um, before I get into this review, hit that like button, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at PerpMinded420. So with all that being said, what is there to really like about this? What is uh, good about this? What are what are some things that don't work for me? Because there's a lot that does not work for me in this movie. And I should get um, my positives out of the way first before I get into my negatives. Because I feel like my negatives will outweigh my positives um the positives is the animation is really clean i really like that they didn't go with nothing drastically different like some 3d animation trash i'm glad that they kind of stuck with that there are times where obviously like when they're driving the mystery machine and stuff like that like it's obviously in like cgi and stuff like that or just cg um but it, it doesn't take me out of it another positive is there's a lot of you know nostalgia in here from courage uh from the cast of just courage the cowardly dog there's a lot of references from past villains and stuff like that and that's the thing about courage the cowardly dog i feel like if you haven't seen it or you kind of slept on it when you're younger go back on hbo max and watch the original series it was really dope and i think it was very unique for its time bringing it into modern day 2021 there's a lot that just doesn't f just sit right with me with a lot of this because there's a lot of missed opportunities with this whole entire movie as a whole in my opinion now, another positive I would have to say is just courage. You know, I, I, I like that after 20 years, he still does the same thing. It still feels like courage after all these years, you know what I'm saying? Compared to other characters that I will get to very shortly. I thought that was really cool. It, it's dope that this was um, Thea White's last, I guess, performance as Mur Muriel. Uh, which was really dope. I really like Eustace in this. He's, you know, everybody pretty much stayed the same for everybody that was a part of the Cur Courage the Cowardly Dog, like that whole cast. But on the other side, this is where we're going to get to my negatives. Quick negatives. The opening sequence was just trash. I just don't like this new cast of like, um, you know, Velma, Daphne, Freddy, and even Shaggy. Shaggy's voice is terrible in this. The voice acting on that side is just terrible. They just turned Fred into a, just a complete dimwit. All of a sudden now, Daphne's not like the damsel in distress anymore. You know, there were some funny lines and stuff here and there that kind of made me chuckle. But a lot of the dialogue was just so boring and bland from the voice acting. It's just like this is why i said like i feel like they really missed their mark with just a lot of things going on the story is just it literally it just happens at random you have scoob just tripping out of nowhere and it's connected to courage and they randomly just meet each other it's just it's like whatever okay i give it the benefit of the doubt but i think that they could have really done something unique with the stories i like the interactions with scoob and courage because they have a lot in common they're both scared of things i do like how eustace kind of 
scares people in this. Another thing I didn't like about this is, uh, other, uh, speaking about the music, is Eustace has this weird, like, rap rendition. Like, it, it just came out of nowhere. It was just, it really took me out of it. There's a lot of things that just took me out of the, um, out of watching this. And it's only like an hour and 20 minutes. And I feel like they just wasted a bunch of time. Just, I don't know. It, it, a lot of aspects of this just fell really flat. Now, I want to kind of talk about the golden era of Scooby Doo, where it really peaked at. Where Scooby Doo really peaked at was like, um, Scooby Doo Zombie Island. That was like the best Scooby Doo movie, period. Then you had Scooby Movies and Scooby Where Are You and all that, and a pup named Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo and the 13 Ghosts, uh, Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. Even What's New Scooby Doo, I feel like that would have been a better placement, or I think Courage would have fit better with that cast, even though I'm not a fan, a huge fan of like What's New Scooby Doo, because I, like I said, I kind of fell off with Scooby Doo with uh, Zombie Island. That movie was hella dark. I actually feel like watching that at some point today. I'm going to go try to find that on HBO Max or somewhere else. Who knows? I, I just think that, man, it, they should have focused a lot more on just Scoob and Courage. Maybe just take out Shaggy and all of them completely and just completely have an adventure of Courage and Scooby-Doo going on these crazy mysteries, getting scared, and the third act is completely wild, I kind of see where they're trying to go with Courage's character, I just, the execution just didn't work for me, I really think that they should stop pumping out these movies, um, because they're doing, like, crossovers with WWE, it just doesn't make sense, I think they just need to go back to the drawing board with Scooby-Doo, maybe go in a darker tone, if they ever do live action or if they ever do another iteration of a cartoon, I would like to see them kind of play around with like a rated R. Let me know how you guys would feel about that. Cause you know, I think that's what people really want from a Scooby-Doo nowadays because it's been so kiddie and so, you know, why not have a more mature version of Scooby-Doo? Maybe we'll get something like that down the line i don't know what else collabs they could possibly do i would like to see more 90s things being brought back like um maybe dexter's lab or something like that because of how that universe is kind of built especially with us being in like that this like superhero comic book movie era i think dexter's lab would really fit in today's time anyways I'm rambling off. Let me know how you guys feel about this uh, movie or if you haven't seen it or you have plans of seeing it. I think this would be a cool movie just to put in front of your kid's face and just, you know, use this background. I think the kids will really enjoy this. This, this is definitely not for me. Um, anyways, I will see y'all in the next review or next video. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.